Hi, welcome back. This is the lesson six. In lesson four, we did some plotting with the layout that we created. We developed the candlestick charts, and that is our main chart. And we also established three moving average along with the candlestick charts and present them into the same main chart. And in these lessons, we will provide more information for these main charts. Uh, for each of the candlestick, I would like to have their corresponding trading volume so that we can understand how strong these candlesticks are or how weak uh, these candlesticks are. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing first, let's refresh a bit of our memory about the volume bar chart. Here are a few things that I want to highlight. Firstly, we want to have the total trading volume, which represents the total number of shares of a securities that were being traded during a different period of time. And in this case, we want to show these total volumes in the upper left corner. Secondly, we want to put these trading volume in a bar chart. We, so we need a bar chart. Um, to catch our attention, the color of each bar will match the color of each can, uh, candlestick. So we know the bar is, um, is representing a candlestick moving upwards or the bar is representing a candlestick uh, moving downwards. The first thing um, that we want to do is to clear everything uh, from the SS8, that is our plot 8. And then we use the same design, uh, figure designs for these um, plots. And we do not want to show the Y access value for that y access so try to visible in which set them visible um, just like what i mentioned i would like to um, make a positive and also a negative values um, to to understand uh, which color codes that i should provide um, to the to each of the bar. Now I go here. I use uh, a positive here that is calculated by the open price minus the closed price. If that is less than if that is less than zero that mean positive value and then i again set the negative price that is the open price minus the close price if that is larger than zero open price is larger than the closing price that mean is a negative value now I'm going to create the XSS first. Again, um, I just need to create a list um, for this um, XSS value. And these range will cover the differences between the volume. Um, that is the data, and that is the data volume difference that we calculate uh, at the very beginning. And then plus one. Now we've um, created the X axis. Now we want to create the bar. There are two types of the bar that I want to create. One is the positive types and the other is the negative type negative types. So for the positive type, I will just um, get the data that only contains the 
positive value. And then, of course, I will, um, that is for the x-axis, right? So I also need the y-axis, and then the value be the difference. Okay, I just want to use uh, those positive uh, value, positive bar. If. And then the color code that I'm going to assign is green for that one. Then the width, I just set it to 0 0.8. They're close to each other, but they are not exactly overlap with each other. Center, and similarly, I can do it for the negative bar. Let's change it to negative, change it to negative. Now, I want to calculate the maximum values and also standard deviations value for this data volume. Get the maximum and I get the standard deviations. The main reasons that I want to have these two value is that I because I want to set the y axis uh, limit to it. And this is mainly because we do not want these uh, bars um, too close to the to the to the uh, to the boundary, and also we do not want these bar overlap with the text that we have, um, that we're gonna have later. So this is the Y maximum and also for, uh, Y standard deviations. I try to use three times of the standard deviations. And I give another conditions to it uh, because at the very beginning, there's no value. So um, I'm not going to pass um, these limits to this to this um, this boundary. So it just skips um, at the very beginning. <clears throat> and then we can move on to the heads. That is the volume To be spe specific, that is the total volume. Um, the coordinate is at the upper left corner. So that is uh, around 0 0.01 and 0 0.95 uh, for the X and Y coordinates uh, respectively. And then we try to assign a format for these. Um, Say, for example, a armor, thousands, and also thousand for the millions for the format. I want to have an integer. It's one of the value. And then the coordinate, coordinate transform. That means, means we just use the trans axis. That means um, the, the bottom left is the zero zero um, coordinate. Is that is that the zero zero coordinate? That is the origin. And then the color code. Uh, Use the right color for this text. One size to ten. Wait. Oh, 
full it we saw until so Left there were so I oh. it appears at the upper top corner, and then again, I will give it a read so just for the major major grid. Great color, my style, straight line, then that is the major grid. Oh, SS, my width, not too much. And finally, just for the X pick labels, not want to have anything for the X assets. I will just give it a empty list. There are a few title um, before I run this program. Let me fix it first. For this one, I that's the colons, and then for this one, that's the passes. Get to change the negative bar charts to color red. Now, if I run the program, now you can see the bar chart. Uh, uh, it's nicely presented. And just like what I mentioned before, we have the total trading volumes on the uh, upper left corner. And then we have the bar charts and each bar represents each candlestick. And that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, in the next video, we will create the relative strength uh, index RSI for the stocks in the main chart. In our example, that is um, Berkshire Halfway. See you in the next week video. Bye bye.